Grand Rising on Four Souls, and welcome to Bromans Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is going, what's coming forward. What's going on with this one here? Can you see her? Yeah, there we go. So this, if you are a new face, welcome in. It's nice to see you. If you're an old one, welcome back, soul family. I hope you're doing well. Get yourself comfortable. You know how my reads go. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Now, the message that came through, sometimes I just pull the cards, and I'll get like a little snippet of information of what's going on. There is um, there is a tomfoolery afoot, okay? There's something that's been strategized or planned to sabotage the way that you're healing right now. There may be, there seems to be a collective shift for people going through some sort of healing at the moment. And when I say healing, we're healing every day. But it's almost like when you get an epiphany of something coming towards you or some sort of somatic release where you may feel emotional or sad or in grief or something along those lines. You've got downcast pride upside down. So this also could be to do with the way that you think about money or how you were gifted when you were younger because you've got wounded healer segment here. Yeah, and then you've got shame underneath. So someone is releasing shame or guilt around money, money mindset, whether they should be gifted things, how they spend money, how they receive money. Should you receive money? For example, there are many people who... Do not, do not think that if you have um, the gift of sight that you should pay for it, you should charge for it, for example. And they're like, no, 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 you can't. That is a wound to do with how you receive or give, give abundance, okay? And there's something here with someone paying to try and get you to resist your healing and where it takes you. Because you're, I'm getting that someone here is very analytical. They're the type of person that would ask why and constantly ask why to get more understanding of something. And you have somebody in the background who is purposely paying to have that blocked, okay? Now, the messages that came through were calling someone by their dead name. Japan or visiting Japan, something to do with anime. Um, lawful use of force with a question mark next to it. Someone tried to rob a shop or a store and got beaten up by the employee or the robbery just went wrong, okay? Or there's some sort of plan to rob someone and it went wrong or it's going to go wrong and when i say it's going to go wrong it's not going to go in their favor and what do you know what i've connected and here the solar plexus there's something going on with someone's solar plexus here so someone might be doing i think there's quite a few people in the collective that are looking at inner child wounds or working from there because i feel like almost like a plug someone's got something plugged to their solar plexus and then it says here everyone ah, Everyone deserves a parent, but not everyone deserves a child. Wow. Okay. So this is in a this is in a child wounding. This is um, childhood um, trauma. It could be um, child PTSD. Please remember that I am not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer, and I do not claim to be one. If anything comes up that is, you know, particularly stressful or it triggers a wound please know that you know the messages that come through they are to encourage yourself to to heal but if you feel like you need it's triggered you too much and you even need to take a break from my videos or you need to speak to someone like a, a therapist or your doctor please do that and please make sure that you're taking care of yourself because mental health and self-love is so important okay please make sure you're taking their advice before mine um the last thing that came out was emperor dating an older woman or wants to date an older woman or man there's a there's a big age difference here okay now let's see the songs that have been coming out though i had one and it was by what is her name melinda melinda something melinda kathleen rose and it was forever in my mind and it says i will love you forever in my mind and i will love you until i die like the moon you call me pull me closer okay so there is that's either like a really strong twin flame connection or someone who's just very obsessed in their face and look what came out you've got here and the thing is i've got to say oh it's your fourth house because the moon rules over that and what comes out the, the fourth house make it what makes you feel secure support your home base or family and then underneath you've also got happy family and it's in reverse so this could be a family member you have mm, there is somebody who's either paying to have witchcraft done against you or the person you're thinking of, or this person is doing it themselves. <clears throat> and it's to do with someone's career. That's why they don't want this per they don't want this person to heal. Because healing is the key to success in anything. Okay. It's the success to how you then manifest things in because it's all to do with your vibrations. And you've got here responsibility, success, become a person of power and status. They don't want this for you. And then you've got daughter value. And then you 
Didn't I say that it was to do with the solar plexus? So I'll show you those two. Look what's underneath. Your inner child upside down. This person is paying to have some sort of work done to place some sort of shame, some sort of shame on you or to make you feel shameful about something that happened when you were younger or just the way that you were brought up because we all have different upbringings. We all have different traditions. We all come from different backgrounds and cultures and stuff like that. But there's something here with there being shame to do with either your body or just, there's a lot of orange to do with your sacral chakra as well wow fragmentation so you have a family member here who may be trying to project their own shame onto you now the song that came out was jefferson airplane somebody to love and it says here don't you want somebody to love don't you need somebody to love wow so making you feel like you wouldn't you love somebody to love you better find somebody to love love i don't know if this person was trying to inflict wounds in you so you felt like you would never love or maybe you felt like you've never been loved. Maybe you feel like you were, you know, you were either abandoned or emotionally ignored. This person from your family or whoever's family this is, they are not realizing that everything that they're sending is actually just another phase in your healing. Because whatever it is that's being triggered by this person, uh, by the family member, is actually giving them space to address something from the past. That's interesting. What else wants to come up? Because you've got fragmentation here. This is something that's been left behind. And then you've got Scorpio. This is deep healing. This is shadow work. The eighth house in Scorpio for me is always about the shadow. It's about the occult, the unknown, you know, mysteries, things that we don't really see. And it says on here, the extraordinary power of prayer. Somebody's been praying. Somebody's been reading the Bible or the Quran or the Torah. And it's bringing them a lot of a sense of peace. For those who don't, there's something here about, um, there are certain, there's a certain book you're being asked to read. Or well, there's certain content. It's not on online though. There's something about picking up an actual book or papers or something like that for you to start investing your time into to acquire knowledge. And it's to do with mindfulness or spirituality. And the song that's come up now is Timothy Bloom till the end of time. Okay. This is going to there's something here about what it is that you are learning through reading that's healing yourself, that's going to connect you even closer to somebody who's on the same wavelength as you okay extraordinary power of prayer the highest and lowest aspects of control the situation and a fragmentation so this is at the moment someone's going through a saturn return they're going through a tower they may be going through a deep, a deep you know i'll say a deep night of the soul a dark night of the soul because this fragmentation this is calling back parts of someone that have been left maybe in childhood this is real this is deep healing and it may be really uncomfortable for somebody here but it's necessary and even if you have a sister, a brother, a cousin, whoever, an auntie, you know, grandmother, grandfather, whoever it is that's sending this crap to you, they don't realise that they're actually, they, they're actually opening up an opportunity and space for you to actually have a look at that part of yourself and call back parts that have been lost. And I think that's beautiful. And they don't even realise. What else needs to come up? Tell me about the dead name. If someone is calling you by your dead name, just know that if it's triggering you that's because there's a wound still there and you're literally being told to say thank you universe thank you god thank you allah thank you whoever it is that you see as omni the omnipotent power thank you for showing me that there's still something that i need to kind of either lay to rest or i need to look at and give love to because i'm getting almost like that energy of like a grandmother who refuses to call their granddaughter by the she pronouns even because when that daughter granddaughter was born they were born into a male body but they have transitioned and they've changed their name it's giving me that energy as well so for someone here you're being told it's not so much like um grin and bear it it's more if it is triggering if it's uncomfortable your grandmother without even realizing is giving you an opportunity to have a look at soul fragmentation parts that may have been left behind for you to reclaim, for you to love, and for you to then release, okay? Because you've got appreciation and daughter personal personal healing and happiness. Now you've also got financial constraints underneath. I feel like there's also shame here. Um, there's something here about like feeling left out for someone. Someone felt felt left out of the family. I don't know if you're a middle child, or if you felt like you don't even have to be a middle child. If you come from a big family. It's almost like you felt you were invisible in some way. Someone here felt invisible. That's really linking to your finances. 
because the way that we manifest and what it is that we feel that we deserve comes from how we feel about ourselves and now with fragmentation here with the um the financial constraints there's definitely something in the past that you're being asked to look at <coughs> gently i heard with loving eyes and i heard over the next 28 days because you have the daughter value in reverse you have fragmentation then you have financial constraints so there has been you've got a family member who has been doing um like money blockage or money blocks and there's layers there's always layers to anything that's sent okay it's not just they're trying to stop someone's money they're trying to stop someone's money by making them feel like they're not worthy of it then linking in a memory from childhood then linking in that feeling from childhood then adding some sort of energy of how they feel her contempt in there as well there's a lot going on there which is why i feel like 28 days every day if you're looking at it a tiny little bit or writing it down or talking about it in 28 days you've taken 28 steps you're going to be in a completely different place and i heard you'll unlock the door tell me about japan why is japan important meditate and contemplate expect powerful change anger in chains someone here has got a binding spell of some sort on them anger in chains is um that's my card for like binding. So someone's got binding on them. Um, someone may have like um, the urge, and I said this before, to pick up a holy book. It could be a mindful mindfulness book, but there's something about books with ascendant masters in them. So it could be Buddha, it could be Jesus, it could be Kuan Yin, it could be Kuthumi, it could be any of them, okay? It could be holy amethyst. Whoever it is um, for you, whoever it is that resonates for you, you're being told to go and get a book on quotes or things that they said or the or the teachings and to read them to yourself whether that is to yourself or out loud okay have a look at what your chiron is in your birth chart because then it will give you a better idea of how it is that you heal things so for example if you are an earth sign the way that you're going to heal is going to be more to do with your body and manually it could be working out going out in nature it could be taking that book out and reading it by a tree if you are an air sign for your cheer on it could be speaking out reading the book you know with intention it could be that if you're a fire sign that you have to as you are reading bringing up certain emotions passionately you, you get my drift okay but definitely um, expect powerful change and meditate and contemplate. Somebody did something, but they did it without a lot of knowledge. Or they did it because they don't like the fact that you are healing. I look at this with happy family, shame, and an appreciation. And I've never had these cards come out this way. But having it this come out like this with long Bobby, Susie, shame, appreciation, and then meditate and contemplate... There was definitely this push to stop you from looking within yourself and not to have that stillness of mind. And I don't know if anyone here has been getting upset or feeling a little bit frazzled. I think that's why the um, reading came up before about taking a break. If you haven't taken a break since you've seen that last video, go and book some holiday off. Or when you have that weekend and you're not working and you've planned all these other things, take them all off the calendar. If you have children, hand the children over to your sister or hand those children over to your husband or wife or whoever and take those two days for yourself because this is and this is you're being urged take some time for yourself or you're going to have a meltdown there's going to be some sort of kind of proper burnout why do you want to come out yeah look bring love into the situation somebody within the family unit was really pushing to get you and this is a psychic attack of some sort they were trying to get you to um, hate yourself, not like yourself, Jupiter, because they know that this this blessing's coming and they want to be tied to this. They want to be tied to this. This anger and chains is something about trying to bind themselves to your abundance that comes through your career and your 10th house. You've got here the granting of blessing from good fortune. I had the last heave po. Tell me about Japan though. Why did that come out? Messages from Japan. Ooh, there's messages coming from Japan. You've got the seventh chakra, Archangel Orion, and you've got man holding a heart. But you've also got storms coming out with the man holding the heart. So I don't know if you have somebody on the other side of the world. This could be someone who is Japanese. It could be someone who, um, they could be Korean. They could be Asian in some way. Or it literally just could be that this person is very, very into anime. Because that came up before, okay? But this person could be sending some sort of like, it's almost like energy manipulation. 
Somebody here is blocking you or trying to get you to invest in the wrong energy. Isn't that the same message that's coming out all the time? Lawful use of force. Lawful use of force. Self-sabotage. And then you've got the temple path upside down. Exactly. Someone's trying to coerce you into you or the person you're thinking into making the wrong choice. The wrong choice for you, the right choice for them. Yeah. This is energy harvesting as well. Please make sure that you are protecting your energy, especially when you sleep. Please make sure that you are taking... What is this? Oh my gosh. The song that's just come out on here is Friends by Anne-Marie and Marshmallow. This is somebody who um, is going to try and... Either this is someone from the past who got friend zoned or they friend zoned themselves or you friend zoned them or this is somebody who's going to come in as a friend okay you're not my lover you're more like a brother i know i've known you since we were like 10 don't mess it up talking that ish only going to push me away that's it when you say you love me that makes me crazy here we go again don't go looking at me with with that look in your eye you're really, you really ain't going to get away without a fight. Mm, okay, so this is somebody, and look, truth comes out. Somebody's trying to strategize to come towards you, but I'm mm, with self sabotage coming out. I don't know if you've got somebody like in Japan or someone who's just obsessed with like anime who's trying to get you to self sabotage, so you choose them. You have a family member who wants you to choose the wrong person. You've got strategy coming out. Tell me about the man holding the heart, please. Tell me about the man holding the heart. Harvest is in reverse. So with storms coming out, something went wrong. What went wrong? Why did I get harvest in reverse next to storms? Journey because something was blocked. Okay. So you have somebody here. You have somebody who's been doing spell work. And I got like a feminine energy from that person. They don't have to be a woman or a girl. I just got feminine energy. And then you have man holding the heart. This is somebody who was attached to your energy. That's the reason I did about... um you were able to get this person out of your energy. So this person is now blocked from your energy. And I feel like this person's at a distance. Tell me more. Okay. They're bound to something else. But this person, who is it that's trying to bind the collective? Who's trying to bind the collective? The child I was meant to be. This is a family member. It's a flipping family member. The child I was meant to be. And the thing is, this person keeps going back. There's something about them not wanting you to connect with a love or not wanting you to connect with somebody who's very psychic. This person could have a really wide open crown chakra and um, I was going to say, oh, I was going to say third. I don't want to say throw. So they may be very, very open on this side here. They don't. You have a family member that does not want you connecting with this person and they will try anything they can to throw you off of the scent, I heard. But you keep getting away from it. Or you keep whatever it is that they're binding you with, you shake it off very easily. So they have done a binding spell of some sort, but this was to your finances because they've tried... Do you remember I said there was some sort of plug to your solar plexus? Someone needs to do another um, cord removal. Full-time job with those cord removals. Seriously, cancel your feelings, attitudes from the past. Use your intuition and and the woman holding the flipping coin in reverse. There's the witch bitch. Seriously, excuse my language. But that cancer, that's family. That is a family. That's a family member. Your absolute bastardo. You put that one over there. And then over here, you've got emotions are running high and brazen. This person is really pissed. They're really vexed that you are not crumbling you're not folding like they thought you would they thought bringing up some sort of traumatic childhood memory would be enough to me melt you like melt you like almost like the wicked witch in in you know Oz where they throw a bit of water on her and she's like no ah, I'm melting the thing is though you'd think by now that this family member would have learnt that this 3d thinking of playing these games they don't work all this person is doing is helping you to heal more because the thing is as well any blocks that are put into your abundance it's almost like it's the universe going, have a look at this, because once you've healed that, more will come in. And every time they do something to poke a, a wound, where they were expecting you to come back in storm energy, you're actually having that opportunity and that space to go, okay, that needs to be healed. Okay, so emotions running high in reverse. They are, they're low-key vex. They wanted you to be very unbalanced. Tell me more about who is it they're trying to block? 
patience. Whoever they're trying to block, I don't know if this person is an air sign or if they're an earth sign, or if they just are very stable. They like to take their time with something. They may be grounding themselves or they may be healing from something because the gra grounded came out upside down. You've also got here a full time job serving. Do it a little at the time. Okay, so this is to do with your sixth house. Someone here needs to focus on their sixth house when it comes to, um, I heard hearty meals or eating certain foods to help ground you, especially if your crown chakra is open. All right, especially with that coming out with lots of nutrition on here. Someone needs to be adding something. I heard vitamin D. The sun is upside down. Someone's not getting outside enough. Someone's not getting outside enough. Tell me more about this family member, please, and thank you. Tell me what the family member was doing. What were they doing to the collective? I'll get that in a minute. What were they doing to the collective? Okay, so we've got here the woman holding the heart and we've got resistance. Listen, you've got the man holding the heart out here already. They were trying to get you to, it's almost like be frightened to love or be frightened to be open to receiving um, validation, whether that's in your work, whether that's just in love, look, truth coming out. And then you've got um, sacral chakra. I knew it, second, second um, chakra, Archangel Ariel, creativity. Look at them trying to block your flow, trying to block your mother mm -hmm, flow. By bringing in, it's almost like a series of mishaps, a series of um, distractions, a series of these really small things just to vex you. Pay attention to your surroundings, okay? So if you're going out and you're seeing people crash in cars or you're hearing people shout aggressively and it's something that you're seeing quite a bit, it's because whatever's being sent towards you is trying to magnet in lower vibrational energies. This is why it's really important that you are keeping up with your spiritual cleansing, your prayer, if that's what you do, or your affirmations, or however it is that you connect in divinity to the divine, to source, okay? Doing that regularly, cleansing your energy regularly is important because at the moment we're getting very close. I heard we're very close to that goal. We're very close to that goal of bringing in, and when I say finances, I'm not talking about like, what you usually get in your paycheck and a little bit more a lot more than that there's a reason why they keep trying to stop you there's a weird reason and then we've got pm dawn has come out set adrift on memories bliss that came up not, not that long ago excuse me yeah, it's hard Oop. and it says on hit you look at that manifestation in reverse so we had second chakra archangel ariel we had creativity in reverse and then we've got manifest manifestation in reverse we're coming, look, the thing is, while I'm filming this, I'm actually filming this on my time off. I'm not supposed to be filming. I'm supposed to have, like, relaxation and not be filming. But I just, I end up feeling like, you know, when you shake a fizzy bottle and then you put it down, that pressure's just there. If I don't channel, that's what I feel like. I have this pent-up energy because I've got all of these downloads. So I had to anyway. But I probably won't put this out until later. But as we're coming up to, I think we have... Um, an eclipse on the 14th remember this is a timeless reading so if you watch this afterwards if that's not relevant for you that's absolutely fine but there does seem to be this kind of um build up to that i feel like whoever this is in your family or in the family of whoever this person is they they want to do something over this eclipse because that energy i don't know if it's a new moon but I know that the energy around that is going to be very big. Very, very, very big. And you've got truth coming out and attachment. And then you have, it says here, balance, spirituality and practicality. So what was that one down there then? That one says meditate and contemplate. Again, bringing in some really imbalanced energy for you. This is why you have to. Your hard work is paying off. It is paying off, okay? But with this all tied up, someone needs to do a cord removal or they need to do something with their solar plexus. It's definitely inner child work that you're being asked to look at. And if you've already done that, well done. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now we've got the house of the rising sun. Okay. I heard opiates. Trickster in reverse. Manipulating others through duplicity. Tell me about this money block, please, before we go on to the trickster. Tell me about this money block. What was it for? And it says here, child nature, tendency to abuse animals, people, and the environment. Oh, so this person was doing like animal sacrifice and stuff like that, but 
neglecting animals. Why did I hear a dog breeder? Someone here is a dog breeder. Let me show you that. Someone here is a dog breeder. And you also got artist in reverse. Using talent as an excuse to mistreat others. Posing as a starving artist to, to elicit pity. Somebody's copying you. I don't know why I'm getting this. Somebody is copying you. There is a memory from when you were young as well. I don't know if you were into drawing or painting or singing. Something, some sort of artistic expression that you may have done when you were young. And I'm getting that there is a sibling, a cousin. It could be someone the same age as you, someone younger, someone older. I'm not really getting age. But there's someone here who, rather than like, you know, applauding when you've done your dance, or applauding when you did that drawing, or applauding when you've done that song that you made up, or your poetry, or whatever it may be, they were the one that would have been like, that's rubbish. Oh my gosh, you spent all that time doing that. And that's all you did. Or everyone would be clapping, they'd be like, yeah, heard better. There'd always be something. And it was to place shame on you rather than appreciation. You've got engineer coming out. Ability to give creative energy a practical expression. What were we talking about? Talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. I don't know if you were kind of like the negotiator in your family. Because you've also got here the healer in reverse. Taking advantage of those who need help. Failing to care for oneself. So I, I have a feeling like this person, whoever this is from your family or from this person's family, has also got, they had a lot of skills and a lot of opportunities to actually work on their skills for good, for, you know, to heal themselves and they chose not to. This, this energy that I'm getting is almost like when you have a two-year-old or just under the age of two and they haven't really learned about sharing and, you know, you see sibling children, they could be twins or just different ages and one of them will be playing with a toy and the other one, maybe sometimes older, will come over and grab it like that's mine and then the child will cry and they'll go and get another toy and it's fine and then the same child will come up and be like that's mine as well and that's the energy i'm getting of this person with that healer in reverse and lover coming out i knew that look with the man holding the heart great passion and devotion unbridled appreciation of someone or something and there's some sort of shield or block around this person the universe the divine God seems to be hiding who this person is or when this person's going to come in. I feel it's one because it's supposed to be a surprise for you. You're not supposed to plan or control these outcomes. And for others, I feel like this person is being guided to kind of go on the low, on the down low and just be quiet right now. Because I don't know who's attached to them. I don't know how this family member knows about this person. Because you've got addict here, comprises integrity and honesty. Allows an addictive pa pattern to have authority over your inner spirit and then mother. So you definitely have someone who is trying to... I'm getting they're trying to poison this person energetically away from you or away from whoever it is that, that they're supposed to be with. Yeah, and you've got femme fatale here. Inappropriate use of sensuality, attachment to money and power. You have a family member who's doing this and I heard third party. You have a family member who may be the third party, I don't know. I literally don't know. Headiness inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life, celebrates the beauty in yourself. That's what you're being told to remember to do as you're going through this. If you are feeling particularly emotional, especially as this moon is coming up, you'll also have a look at what's in your um, what is your moon sign because it will actually give you a lot of um, an understanding of how the moon is going to affect you, especially like if you, I have moon in Aries. So I get very passionate, I can get angry, passionate, I can get upset, angry, I can get very fiery, you know, um, depending on what it is that I'm watching or doing or speaking about. So there's a need for you to have a look at that, okay? Someone's, I feel like somebody is purposely, they're purposely misunderstanding you. Someone's purposely, they want, they want whoever this man holding the heart, and remember, it's just the card says man holding the heart. I don't really assign genders. If I say he or she, it's really to do with the cards and who's depicted on them rather than the actual person. So, you know, I'm picking up on energies when we hold both masculine masculine and feminine. So please swap around the, um, the genders if you need to, get rid of the genders if you need to, leave them as they are. Don't make the story fit if it doesn't. And if it doesn't resonate, it's absolutely fine because my readings are only supposed to confirm what you already know. They're not supposed to tell you anything new, okay? And you've also got Midas to Miser. And it says they're hoarding money and emotions, obsesses fear over losing your wealth. And on this side, it says inappropriate use of sensuality, attachment to money and power. So you have a family member here who is um, 
they've got a really weird energy when it comes to money and this is what they're projecting towards you because i did get with that spell that they were doing or this witchcraft that they're using that there's layers to it and part of it is their own hate or their own dysfunction when it comes to abundance but they're linking it to you or the person that you're thinking of okay they may be using sex distorted energy magic and stuff if anyone wants to have um it's not so much a clearing transmission as it is a light decree and i personally like to um copy what is said because i find that it empowers me more but you may have a different way of doing it you may just want to listen to it it is to release from um vampiric energies from um, sexual predator energies and from um, narcissistic energies and it's like 20 minutes long and you can listen to it like I said or you can you can copy it if you want that let me know it's not mine it's somebody else uh, the reason why I don't just post it and go this is the link is because there's a lot of people who are ops there are a lot of people that are watching that would want to block it unfortunately so if you email me instead you're giving me the, you know, the thumbs up for my guides to read your energy when you email me. Just be aware of that. So if you are somebody who is not of, you know, the light, I just, I'll ignore you. Okay, right, let's carry on. Anything else that wants to come out? This one for some reason. Yeah, artificial heart. That's more or less, um, we will know. We will know if you're BSing. Anything else that wants to come out on this? Oh, 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 oh. Now you've got damsel in reverse. Waiting for a night to provide for you, seduction by romantic illusion. You have a family member who's been doing this. Or some of this third party, whoever this person is, they don't they don't want you to get this man holding the heart. They don't want you getting this man holding the heart because you're seen as a, a visionary, capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. Somebody knows you're the real deal and they can't stand it because they're a massive bully. They're a massive bully. Conceal deep Conceals deep fears behind verbal or physical abuse. And tell me about Japan. Why did Japan come out? What was that about? What was, what was about Japan? Child eternal. Determination to remain young in body, mind and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes. Whoever this person is, is an old soul, but a young spirit, if that makes sense. There's somebody who, um, no matter what the age, they still want that sense of fun. And like, I started watching anime again, and I completely forgot how much I love it. And how much it really takes you away from the hustle and bustle of life. And if you've never watched anime, you're like, oh, that's for kids. Go and watch one. Go and watch Chainsaw Man or Blue Lock or something along those lines and just watch a couple of them and see how easily you get sucked into it, okay? There's something here about escapism with um, anime. This person, I don't think it's so much about the anime. It's more to do with this person being quite youthful or holding on to things within their inner child that most of us, we let go of or we forget about because we have to do grown-up things, if that makes sense. And this is beautiful because this is going to bring that out in you as well this is going to bring this out in you as well i feel like this person is strategizing on how to come forward i don't know if this person knows you yet for some you already know this person so that strategy card is more to do with um how do they come forward how do they step forward maybe they don't know where you live if you don't know this person it literally could be that they are strategizing how they move because in some of the readings i was picking up this person might be moving to the same city or state as you depending on where you are in the world for work and i had a chance meeting for some a chance meeting and look what's coming up a chance meeting you're not going to be told how that's going to happen <sighs> tell me more about money blocks please tell me more about money blocks what needs to be healed in money blocks what needs to be healed in money blocks wrong deck okay what deck would you like me to pick up Ooh, okay let's have a look see shall we What needs to be healed in money blocks? So you've got the King of Pentacles coming up to the full. This is to do with, um, I'm almost getting like projects. Um, who here likes, has like loads of like, you can have million of like, million ideas of how to create projects or has that idea of, oh, I'm going to make this and this and this, it's going to have all these details and then starting the project and never finishing it. Because there's something here with like multitasking, doing loads of different projects, and then just going, can't bother. Someone's manifested something really big into their life, like really big when it comes to finances, when it comes to abundance, when it comes to, I heard, to good living. And someone here is shite scared of it. 
because that fall upside down that is blocking that's like i don't want what i have just manifested and that is kind of giving whoever this is in the family it's giving them free reign to kind of go okay there's the wound let me hook it thank you so much carry on thinking like that look carry on thinking like that keep feeling scared about having abundance keep feeling scared about trying new things because it means that we can really in we can harvest from you okay this is the reason why you're being told right now look at this money block look at whatever it is that's coming up that is painful and do it every day a little just a little bit little bit teeny teeny tiny bit over the next 28 days because it's putting you into the empress energy irrespective of gender it's going to help it'll help you grow it'll help the things around you grow look look what's coming out nine of pentacles baby it's going to help you grow it's going to bring in your wishes but you have to trust yourself and you have to trust the divine because someone here is doubting themselves because it's painful and i get it i really do the queen of swords to the two of swords to the six of swords this is almost like she reminds me of joan of arc be brave speak the words you need to whether it is writing them down or just speaking them into existence talking or looking at the mirror while you are you are talking about what happened when you were younger or going down memory lane because it's literally what's going to cut these cords to whatever it is that's binding to you the two of swords in reverse is a definite this is literally going to help you move to calmer waters and bring in the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, and release, release the stuff that you need to release. And then you have the Sun and you have Devil, exactly. Exactly. Now what song do we have? New Jeans, Super Shy. I don't know why I'm getting, I don't know if you really are into like anime and K-pop K and Korean dramas and stuff like that, because this is really coming through. I love all that stuff, but it's really coming through for someone here. What else is coming out? The Hermit, so this could be a Virgo. This is about letting go of control. This is part of someone's healing here. Someone really needs to, and I did say about your sixth house, someone needs to check their sixth house. And have a look if your sixth house and your Chiron are the same, or your sixth house and your north node are the same. Because whatever you're healing in your sixth house is going to help you heal what's in your Chiron. I heard speak your words of truth. Be honest with yourself. The hermit is coming out to the, the, the four of pentacles. Being alone right now may be a good idea. And I'm not saying that you have to hide away in your home, but rather than going out partying, if you have, and I had said before, if you have like loads of things that you're supposed to be doing on the weekends in the next 28 days, you're being told to cut them down. You don't have to get rid of them completely, but there's something about me time, just having time by yourself to kind of like feel your skin. And what I mean by feel your skin is actually like, just sit and exhale, <sighs> you know, read a book, have a look at a magazine, draw a picture, don't put the TV on just to you know, switch your, your head off. Do something that has got nothing to do with the duties that you usually do during the day. Something that helps you kind of align yourself. And there's also a need to hear for someone to really tap into their energy of, is this my energy? How do I feel today? Am I tired? Can I go to bed early? You know, and even if you have other duties that keep up a bit later, can you rearrange those a little bit so you get to bed half an hour earlier, 15 minutes earlier? There's something here with rest that is really, really important. Really important. The Hermit to the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Letting go of some sort of mental anxiety that is linked to something from your childhood. That always the need to control because control is just another form of fear, isn't it? It's just another form of fear. And that's not me judging you. I have, you know, four placements of Virgo. I'm a massive control freak. <laughs> so I'm not in any way, in any way judging you. Um, anything else that needs to come out anything else that needs to come out before I go please and thank you so you have got the knight of cups and the page of pentacles someone is coming towards you or someone wants to you've got the knight you've got the knight of pentacles in reverse and this person whoever's, whoever's rushing towards you though does not have a lot to offer and I don't feel like it's this man holding the heart it's someone else there's someone else that's coming to you that is either broke or they why am I getting kind of like a gambler You've got somebody who gambles or somebody who will take those um, games of chance and take risks, but big risks. They're coming in as a Knight of Cups, all right? But they haven't got a lot to offer in their hands. They're trying to manifest you in with the Pentacles card here. 
This is something that, I don't know, there's blocked energy between you and them, so this could be a past person, somebody that you're not speaking to anymore, and you're quite happy that you're not speaking to them. Mm. King of Cups, though, it's the Five of Swords. Are you speaking to somebody else? They may be wanting to know if you're speaking to somebody else. I heard the family members want to know if you're speaking to somebody else. This King of Cups to the Five of Swords, this may be the, the man holding the heart energy that I'm getting. Tell me about the King of Cups. Judgment in reverse to the Hierophant. What is going on here to the Two of Cups? You have got somebody who may be going through a divorce. This person may have been in some sort of union and they're, they're now divorced. Or not. Yeah, because look, a lot of messy energy going on. This may be the man holding the heart who's looking at you and that's why Storms was next to it. So you have a family member that's trying to block you by putting a lot of messy energy into that person. Why? Seven of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. So the Six of Cups. I have a feeling that whoever it is that's coming from the past wants to spill some tea. I heard some, they want to, they want to gossip with you. Somebody wants to gossip with you or somebody is gossiping about you. And I heard both. The Six of Cups, this is almost like, is there a memory block? Someone's wiped a part of your memory or a memory block. Something that you don't remember. They invested in this. They want to offer you some sort of lie. Somebody wants to offer you some sort of lie. What's the lie? Tell me where to go. Over here, interesting. What's the lie? Let's see. What is the lie? Is this the family member? Is this the um, person rushing forward? Okay, so this is the Knight of Cups. So smoke them if you've got them because it's going down. All I ever wanted was you. I'll never get to heaven because I don't know how. Let's raise a glass or two to all the things I lost on you. LP, so this is an ex coming in. This, this ex wants to kind of gossip with you over something. Now this is Tom O'Dell, another love. Oh, wow, okay. So you do have two energies and you still have someone from the past. It doesn't have to be a recent breakup. It can be somebody from a long ago, okay? This person knows about something that your family did, this family member did when it comes to witchcraft to put a block in for you for your heart space they may have helped in some way and it says i want to take you somewhere so you know i care but it's so cold and i don't know where i brought you daffodils in a pretty string but they don't they, they won't flower like they did last spring tom odell that's some depressing depressing song okay oh, okay so this is upside down this is inaco and it's jericho okay so this person whoever this ex is they may have wanted to be a twin flame but they flip in one they literally were not and I don't know, they may know what a twin flame is, or they may just have wanted to be your soul partner. And I heard too late, Tracy. Who's Tracy? Too late, Tracy. You promise me forever. Somebody's got, somebody wants a revenge on you. I feel like there's an ex here. Hold you in my arms. I just wanted to hold you in my arms. I never let, I never let you go if you promise not to fade away. Never fade away. Our hope and expectations, black holes and revelations, muse, starlight. Hold me in your arms, won't you hold me in your... I haven't heard that song in ages and I'm absolutely murdering it, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if you could take it. No, you want to see me naked, naked, naked. Okay, this person, whoever this person is, there's a person from the past that wants booty. They want body, oddy, oddy. But there's also something not trustworthy about them. By the book in Reverse and Observer, this person has been watching you and they're now coming forward. I feel like whoever this family member is, is trying to get you back with someone from the past because they do not want this new person coming in towards you. Why do they not want the person, the new person coming forward? Why do they not want the new person round and round? They want you in. Look now. They want you in a karmic cycle. They want you to feel like whoever it is that's coming towards you is not for you, okay? They're trying to get you to, ah, oh, so they're trying to get you to stay in some sort of wound, some sort of creative block, some sort of sacral chakra block and solar plexus block. Tell me more about round and round and not for you. Why do they not want this new person coming in? Why does this family member not want this new person coming in? Chop wood and new life and go the distance because whoever this person is that's coming in 
they will go the distance they will make that hard they will do the hard work to get you to trust them is what i'm hearing they want that that but whoever this person is for you okay because for some of you it will be a new person for some for other people you already know this person and you have another past person who's coming in to either mess it up or try to get you stuck back in a karmic cycle okay but for most people it's a new person this person's been working on themselves they've literally been working on themselves and that go to go the distance is giving me like this person lives quite far away Bruh, look what came out soulmates soulmates has come out this person is your soulmate here and now here and now this person's coming in here and now okay what numbers on that three and two so this person could be coming in between the two and three weeks or two and three months new life for somebody here now let's get a little bit of um clarity on when this person's coming in oh, i wish i picked up my number okay i'll tell you what i'm gonna do not that one which one that one let's see what wants to come out what number i'll ask how many weeks how many weeks until this person comes in to collectives life one more time okay okay irrespective of it's up or down whatever number is on there i'm going to take as the amount of weeks before this person comes in okay okay can I get one card to represent the amount of weeks before this person comes in? Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Let's see. So we've got two cards coming out. And we've got here. Oh. You've got the five. This is five weeks. In five weeks, and you've got the Knight of Pentacles. As much as the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles is usually, he's the slowest in the deck but he's the most abundant with it upside down. This is going to be like a massive surprise. It's a massive gift. Something's going to be given to you at the same time, if that makes sense. And it's going to be, it's fast money or it's fast abundance. Something coming very, very quickly. Wow. Okay, five weeks for you guys. Five weeks and then we've got three underneath. So it's between five and eight weeks. And I say that and then look, there's eight of ones. Between five and eight weeks, you guys. That is amazing. I think I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. Um, if you are new to my channel and that resonated for you, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell if you'd like to see more and when I post. And if you are a return subscriber, hearts, kisses. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one.